week in the celebrity spotlight, TV stars get glammed up for the Emmy Awards, Chelsea pokes fun at Sandra, and Miley's back at it again. Welcome to the Getty Images Week in Review. Here's what's been happening with your favorite celebs this week. Stars from the small screen gathered in Los Angeles for TV's biggest night of the year, the Emmy Awards. It was a ceremony full of unexpected wins that even prompted host Neil Patrick Harris to proclaim mid-show, nobody in America is winning their Emmy office pool. Surprises galore. Among those taking home trophies, Claire Danes for Homeland, Jeff Daniels for The Newsroom, Jim Parsons for The Big Bang Theory, Julia Louis-Dreyfus and Tony Hale for Veep, Michael Douglas for Behind the Candelabra, Bobby Cannavale for Boardwalk Empire, Anna Gunn for Breaking Bad, and Merritt Weaver for Nurse Jackie. Breaking Bad nabbed Best Drama Series, while Modern Family scored Best Comedy Series for a fourth consecutive year. But just as important as the awards is the fashion. Here's a look at some of the style standouts from the Arrival's red carpet. Bullock made a lasting impression in Hollywood. The actress cemented her place in movie history as she was honored with a hand and footprint ceremony outside the TCL Chinese Theater. Chelsea Handler was there for comic support. Yes, this is for my son, and I'm grateful for him. And so this way, when he's 16 and he hates me, I can take him to this moment and say, look, people said really nice things about your mother, but Chelsea did not. And that is why she's here to always remind us we can't get too we can't get too big in our own shoes. And Sandy asked me to present this award to her because she said I was the only friend that would be able to make this all about me. So here I go. She got a little gold man named Oscar long after I got a little Mexican named Chewy. She did a movie about beauty pageants long after I got rejected from all of them in New Jersey. She did a movie about being an alcoholic called 28 Days. And I've been an alcoholic since I've been 28. Taylor Swift came out to support her good friend Haley Steinfeld at the Los Angeles premiere of Romeo and Juliet. Haley and Douglas Booth play the star-crossed lovers in this big screen adaptation of William Shakespeare's romantic tragedy. Downton Abbey creator Julian Fellows wrote the screenplay and was also in attendance along with co-stars Ed Westwick and Cody Smith McPhee. Arnold Schwarzenegger dropped by his old stomping ground, Muscle Beach in Venice, California, to peddle his new line of nutritional supplements. The actor and former governor pumped up the crowd by posing for photos and signing autographs before talking up the Arnold series. For 45 years I've been on this fitness crusade to go around the world and to tell people how to train and to motivate them and to stay fit and to stay healthy. Um, and so food supplements was the next uh, best thing also to do to continue on with the fitness crusade. Over in Tinseltown, Andy Dick was among the lucky fans who got to see Paul McCartney perform a 15-song set on Hollywood Boulevard, part of which was filmed for Jimmy Kimmel Live. Just two days earlier, Sir Paul hit the stage at the iHeartRadio Music Festival in Las Vegas, along with these other entertainers. That's all for now. Join us again next time for another Getty Images Week in Review.